Hey guys, it's Julie E. and I wanted to talk to you about another one of the five missing things from all health regimens. Your scars. Your scars and your traumas from your entire life, from even when you were in utero, your birth, and your entire life, they all make you who you are today, right? We all know that. Our entire experiences all make us who we are today. But most importantly is these scars. If you're trying to stay healthy and you want to feel better, we have to look at the scars. The scientific term I call them is called an interference field. And wherever you have a scar or an interference field, that means that energy is no longer there. And it, when the area has no energy, it becomes depolarized. When something's depolarized, toxins, virus, parasites, bugs, and all kinds of junk can hang out in that part of your body. And then five, 10, 20, 40 years later, you can have to take an organ out or a gland. So it starts off with a trauma to the body. Let's just go back to that. And if your body, if you're born and your body is energy, energy is everywhere and you're, let's say, perfect when you're born, then you fall out of your crib or you fall on the playground, off the jungle gym, all these little traumas to your body, they're like little dents in a car. And sometimes a car gets a bunch of dents and it's fine. And another time a car gets a bunch of dents and it's a lemon. So it really just depends on everything. It depends on your emotional state, it depends on your nutritional state at the time of the trauma, and afterwards, how well you recover. We all know somebody that says, oh, that's my bum ankle, I messed it up in college, or that's the shoulder I dislocated, my body's never been the same after. That means that they did not heal optimally, and let's just say, I did dislocate this shoulder, so let's say it was this shoulder, and I didn't heal it well, or it was an emotional thing, I was mad at someone, or I was at a stressed out time in life, and it just didn't heal perfectly, there will be places in this shoulder area where energy doesn't flow. It's like a little traffic jam. And then my body has to go around it and around it because the body is always trying to move energy around, whether it's just energy, or it's in a chakra, or a meridian, or an artery, or a capillary, or a vein. The body has to move everything around, but when there's a little traffic jam, like a dent in a can, literally the body has to move energy around it, and then over the course of time, that little traffic jam can cause sinus problems, or it could cause digestive problems, or it can cause a problem with my knee. So there's no rhyme or reason of where it causes other problems, but I will guarantee that your significant traumas and where you've had stitches and broken bones 100% of the time cause problems elsewhere in the body and that is called a reflex and one of the things that I'm an expert in is quantum reflex analysis and I can use the o-ring and energy testing to figure out where that trauma is reflexing to in your body and I guarantee it's exactly where all of your health problems are all of your chief complaints so the most important thing to do is to track down your old scars and traumas and deal with them. Dealing with them means you're gonna to wanna to castor oil them, we wanna laser and get energy into the area, we might wanna just like break down the scar tissue by rubbing on it, we will definitely wanna do mud therapy, we might wanna do a QC oil treatment, and if you don't know what any of these are, then stick with me and follow me a little bit more because I talk about these all the time. Um, you could also find a practitioner in your neighborhood that teaches you or does things where they manipulate energy to help heal that area. But I have never seen any healing as magnificent as the mud therapy. And I have seen people that have said, I've treated that scar a thousand times and it's still either tests weak or reflexes elsewhere in their body. So all of your interference fields need to be dealt with. And just last week, I got a new one. I was using a new plate that someone gave to me and it broke in my hand at the same time that I was going to use it. So of course there's an emotional trauma because it was from my mom's who has passed away. So analyze what you want, I'm still working on it. There's definitely an emotional trauma tied to it. And then I ended up getting six stitches. I have not been to a medical facility in over 15 years. I hesitated going because of all of this medical tyranny going on. But I just went to a cute little place, I got stitches, I did have to get numbed, so I also had to detox and do mud to get the drugs out of my hand. 
Um, but as soon as I get the stitches out and as soon as I can deal with the scar, I will be putting castor oil on it. I will definitely do mud therapy. I will definitely do QCI treatment on it. And I've already used the laser on it at least seven times in the past five days uh, because the laser reprograms and repatterns your cells. So every new trauma, now that you're hearing this, you can't unknow this information and you can never say, I didn't know. Every time your child falls, you have to put castor oil instantly on the site of the trauma or else when they're 40, they're gonna have health problems. Every new trauma you get, you wanna treat right away so it doesn't take down an organ over the next 20 years. You also could use some other essential oils, rosemary and eucalyptus do a lot of fantastic things for the body, but you have to deal with the scars. That is my message to you. And dealing with your scars and unblocking them and healing them optimally is one of the five missing things from all health regimens from other practitioners. I am here teaching you what those five things are. So work on your scars and trauma sites and you will have a healthy body and a healthy day.